Hey guys and welcome at Level Up. Today I want to talk about uh, choosing the right martial art for you. Choosing a martial art can be difficult. A lot of people think it's only about fighting, but there is a lot more to it. So in this movie, I'm gonna explain what kind of martial arts are there and how can you pick the one that is right for you. So, to first start off, you can divide martial arts in three categories. So you have combat sports, it's your regular kickboxing, boxing, judo, basically almost everything which has full contact uh, matches in it, I categorize in combat sports. Then you have the martial arts. These are more the classic forms, the ancient way of fighting. There's a lot of philosophies, a lot of history in those uh, kind of sports and you learn a lot about the culture where the sport is coming from. And as last, you have the self-defense type of classes. Here you really learn how to effectively protect yourself in a real life situation. How should you choose between the three of those? Well, first look at the inside of yourself. What kind of a person are you? Are you a competitive kind of person? Or you just like moving? Or just want to make friends at your sport? Want to talk? Want to train? Want to discuss? You know, there's a lot of reasons uh, to find your martial art. Well, as an example, let's say you want to lose weight and really have a nice workout, but you don't like fighting, hitting each other, um, a bit scared of punches to the face, then I wouldn't advise to go to a boxing gym because that's a really comp competitive sport, but it's really good for losing weight because it's a really intense workout. But a martial art is maybe a little bit too much movement and philosophies and you don't get the workout you really want. And self-defense also doesn't really emphasize the losing weight and getting your heart rate up. It's all about situational awareness and uh, pressure, how you can react under pressure. So for you, you should look for a sort of a combination of two of the three. I would go with a martial art with a little bit of combat sports involved. So either find a good boxing gym, which has a great amateur program, so you're not focusing on sparring, but you're just focusing on learning the great techniques, skipping rope, punching the back, punching the focus mitts, doing drills with partners, but not so much sparring. Another great sport is uh, something like karate. Karate has a lot of classical styles, doing kata and uh, doing the the self-defense application, but you also have a more of a combat focus where you spar. Just find the right school and keep in mind what you want to learn. I'll give you another example. Say you are uh, into gaming, you're not strong, you want to learn to be stronger, but you're really insecure uh, because you haven't worked out for like 10 years and you just want to start. I wouldn't go to a combat sport because probably uh, they are going too hard and uh, maybe in a couple of years you can ease in that kind of a sport but start with a martial art start the classic movements maybe pick something uh, which is a bit similar to your favorite game so if you are more into the uh, fighting games or something like uh, Tekken and you like to play with Eddie Gordo the capoeira guy go to a capoeira class will you learn the most efficient fighting skill nope but you will learn uh, to control your body, spin around, keep your balance, uh, maybe do some somersaults, uh, you know, th there's a lot of fun in that kind of martial arts. So um, it's really important, always look to your inside, what kind of person are you? Are you competitive? Are you uh, the guy or girl who really wants to go deep and that they push you to your limits? Or are you just more of a a relaxed person, you don't care too much about losing weight and uh, doing really hard workouts. A classic martial art can be great fun because it's so technical and it's really hard to learn. The intensity levels are a little bit lower, but your, your experience, your coordination, your mobility and all that stuff really improves. That's why I always start with a sort of a martial art based training when I get a new client. So they can just get a taste of the footwork, the punching and all that kind of stuff. And then after like, let's say four months, 
they really uh, get used to the kind of movements and then I introduce them to a little bit of sparring and uh, a little bit of fighting. In this way I try to cover a lot of uh, different aspects of martial arts because uh, I trained in all three variants. I did Eskrima and Jeet Kune Do. In Jeet Kune Do it was pretty much self-defense based but also martial art. Eskrima was really martial arts based, learning great movements, learning all that kind of neat stuff. And after that I did some Muay Thai uh, because I really missed sparring and I uh, figured out uh, you can only learn how to uh, spar by sparring. So guys, these were uh, my tips uh, to help you choose the right martial art. Um, to finish this movie off, so I will make a little list for you guys where I classify which martial art or combat sport is in one of the three categories. So uh, for combat sports we have boxing, Muay Thai, Judo, Combat Sambo, MMA and all Jiu Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu that is. Um, these kind of sports all have a competitive element. They pressure test every technique and you always do it in a competitional way. So that's where you really learn how to fight. It is also really good for self-defense, but it's all on sport. You don't learn the awareness and you don't learn the fancy movement. It's mainly effective movement to fight another person in a certain rule set. Then you have martial arts. Um, I'm not gonna list them all because they are way too much, but I'll just give you a few good examples. So uh, karate is a martial art, although you can also do it in a combat sport because when you do Kirokushin Kai Karate, it's more of a combat sport and if you do Shotokan Karate, it's more of a martial art. So let's go to even more martial arty sports. It's Aikido, that's a real classic martial art. You learn the ancient way of moving. It comes from the samurai area or something. Um, it's a real martial art. It's great fun, not most effective to really learn how to fight. Same as for uh, maybe Penchak Silat, although a lot of people will disagree with me. Um, I think, depending on which school, but they don't spar a lot. It's a lot of technical. When somebody attacks you like this, you do like that. And there's a lot of movements which really, you can immediately see if somebody does Penchak Silat the way he moves. Same is for Eskrima, Chit Kundo, maybe even Wing Chun, although they have competitions, but it's in a, such a rule set that when you fight out of that rule set, it becomes pretty hard to do clean Wing Chun. Um, Capoeira, all kind of great martial arts, Kung Fu, all that, all that stuff. And then you have self-defense, it's more, uh, well, the very biggest and much known uh, self-defense sport is Krav Maga. You also see a lot of like side angles from different martial arts where they really focus on the self-defense. Usually they will mention it on their website or when you go to the gym. Uh, to find something really effective for self-defense. In my opinion, the best sport for self-defense is a combat sport because you learn how, to, how you will react under high pressure when somebody is really punching you and even they wear gloves and I know the rules on the streets are all different, but if you get used to being punched, being kicked in high pressure, try to knock you out, you will learn how to fight. And in my opinion, that's the number one skill you have to have for self-defense. But of course, in boxing, you won't learn the situational awareness and all that kind of stuff. So for that kind of stuff, you really need to do something like Krav Maga. Okay, so I really hope I helped you out a little bit in understanding what kind of martial arts there are and how you can pick the right one for you. If I did, please leave a thumbs up and let me know which kind of martial art you are interested in. And I hope to see you next week.